Hey friends, long time no see. It's nice to be with you guys again after a little break after my Art Du Jour for February series. Today I'm working on something that is just so cool. Uh, it's a uh, flow-ish style journal and I don't know if you're familiar with the, the magazine flow but it's like a paper arts magazine and it's very very pretty and it's super expensive. <laughs> And I've only seen it in pictures. Yeah, I don't really have one. But anyway, we're working on a flow-ish journal. And when I made my scrap box book, I did not know that this is technically kind of like a flow-ish journal. And I was not even aware of flow-ish journals at that point. This is a concept that has been made popular by Rosemarie Morris. And I will put a link to her YouTube channel in the description box below. The idea behind a flow-ish journal is that you... you fill it up with really cool things and then the person who gets the journal can take it all apart and do different things with it. So it's kind of like a stash style journal. First thing I'm doing today is grabbing my one of my favorite favorite things to work with which of course is a cardboard box. This is a I think this was a ham the yeah, hamburger helper box. I went ahead and painted it with uh, with my here, I'll show it to you. This is Valspar. It's a color sample, and it's uh, cream in my coffee, and I really do like it. And that's what I use to to cover my my box board here. So I've painted it, and then I've already taken some double sided tape and started edging over here because these are the, the pieces that I want to fold in to the journal. I love this concept because I think it's, I, I love it. I think it's a great way to, uh, to get rid of your stash, you know, if you have a large stash. I do not have large stashes. I, I keep very minimal supplies, so I just don't have a lot of stuff, but that's me. That's kind of the way that I like to do things. I'm, I'm a minimalist. I, uh, I'm a non-consumer. I don't purchase a whole lot of stuff. And the ability to kind of just use what I have, to me, that is the most attractive part about doing the kind of art that I do, you know, which is mixed media, that I will just, I use what I have. I don't usually buy a whole lot of stuff. I love double stick tape, but this is one of the <laughs> problems with it that kind of drives me nuts, but I love double stick tape. Again, it's not one of those things that's within my budget, so if you don't have double stick tape, don't worry about it. Use some masking tape. If you don't have any masking tape, then use some cellophane tape. Use some glue and some um, binder clips and make your journal come together that way. No worries with this kind of thing. Let's go ahead and fold up these sides. Fold here, fold here. I will say that that double stick tape sure does work really great. Let's get this one done. Oh, I left a part out. Oh, I know why I left that, because I was going to tell you guys about cutting the, um, you know, to make your, to make your box journal flush, it's often necessary to kind of cut out the, the glue that the manufacturer has used here. And the way I do that is with, with a, um, see, I missed this this piece down here, but I did take it off up here, and the best way to, to, to do that is to use an X-Acto knife and kind of just peel it up. If it doesn't readily come up, I just leave it because it's really not worth like ripping a big place in my in my box journal just to get that out of the way. Okay, I'm going to cover this journal with fabric. Um, I, I do my journal covering in a lot of different ways. A lot of times I use packing paper, which is a big, big favorite with me. It's easy to use. I have a lot of it. Um, 
my guy works on cars, so he always has some always has some nice packing materials to work with, whether it's bubble wrap or Wow, this is being a real pistol here, y'all. Okay, I'm not I'm not able to get that off. Let's try one more thing. Come on, baby. Let's talk to it. Gee whiz. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See that sweet talk and it really did work. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got our box journal all secure. Next thing that we're going to want to do is cover it with some fabric. And boy, do I have some fabulous fabric. My dear friend Jeannie up in Maine, up in snowy Maine, uh, sent me a box of beautiful fabric. And I am so excited about using this. Look at that, y'all. Is that not just gorgeous? I, um, I think that I am going to cut it. I thought that I had cut it the right size, but I see now that I did not um, probably cut it quite the right size. So I'm going to trim off a little bit over here. Not going to take off too much because I certainly don't want to, to be scrimping on on that fabric. Isn't that just beautiful? Goodness, so pretty. A billion things to love about that. I have a mixture of PVA glue and a little bit of water. Now let me show you the consistency of this. This is about like this, okay? Um, I'm going to paint the board on this side. Flip it over and then that will adhere it to the fabric that I'm, that I'm using. I'm getting a fan brush. This is like my go-to brush. When this brush wears out, I'm in trouble. <laughs> All creativity will cease. I'm kidding. Use a generous amount of glue. Don't make it too wet. Use it. A generous amount. Some hairs in here. Fresh hairs. Okay. And there we go. All right, cool. All right, now we're going to flip this over. Let it adhere to that beautiful fabric. All right. Next little step. You can use fabric. You can use um, ba uh, paper bags. You know to cover some of these to cover a journal. This is this is packing paper, and this one that I just treated with. Uh, I don't remember how I did this. I think I just painted it and smeared it and sprayed it with something. But anything that you want to use is just fine. If you want to use scrapbook paper to cover it, then that's cool too. All right, next, next thing we're going to do here. Now this is going to be sticky, okay? Just kind of lift up on it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my corners. I am saving all of my scraps. They are quite heavenly. Okay. Mm, I've got one more. I love the idea of a, of a flow-ish journal. I'm just very excited about creating it. I went through some of my magazines and papers last night because you know I have to be kind of when I do something like this I have to be kind of organized about it so uh, that's what I did now let me make sure I've got all this going the right way okay cool grab a brush grab your PVA Elmer's glue Eileen's whatever you're using and we're gonna brush this onto the fabric a little bit onto your board. Okay. 
both sides up. It's a little bit squishy, but that's okay. Do the sides first. The belt didn't do it the right way. And there we go. Alright, let's pull this up here. I'm going to cut those strings off in a minute. Is that not pretty? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just so darn pretty. Okay. I do have to let these dry, but I'm doing another fabric, fabric covered journal. I'll show those to you and then when we come back we'll have a few journals to play with. Okay. Now we're finishing this side. The first time I ever saw anybody do this was Jenny Belly, and uh, I kind of fell in love. <laughs> she is such an inspiration. Okay, all right guys, there we go. We finished covering our first little journal. I'm doing a little bit of tucking on the sides to get everything neat. Now these are these are gooey, okay? It, it's it's gonna they're gonna be wet. So you're gonna wanna. Oh my goodness, that is just going to be such a gorgeous piece of work. I just love it. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm gonna show you the rest of them that I'm working on. This is another flow-ish kind of journal and this is the material that I'm using to cover this one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Then I have a mini journal, a mini macaroni box journal and I'm covering it with this. And the last journal that I'm working on today, yes I am batch making journals, is a burlap journal and I've never I've never tried burlap but um, we're gonna try it we're gonna try it on this mini macaroni box journal okay guys I'm letting things dry I'm proceeding in part two we are going to talk about how we um, we're going to bind our flow ish journal together thanks y'all be right back well not right back back later <laughs>